Hi, I'm Stephen Mather, and this is ProPEC Training for Business in VR. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started holding meetings in Horizon workrooms using Oculus or MetaQuest 2. I'm going to show you the fiddly bits that no one else can be bothered to show you. How to sign up to workrooms, how to create a workrooms team, pair your Quest headset, install Oculus Remote Desktop, and you'll be good to go. So your first job is really to just create an account. So you'll need to go to workrooms.com. Go to workrooms.com and you'll need to fill out your email address. Now you need to make sure that it is a real email address because they're going to send you an activation code. So type in your email address, click continue, and then you're going to have an activation code sent to you. So here it is, here's the one that I've been sent. As you can see, um, it's just a eight letter code. It might have some digits in it. It only lasts for about an hour. so. There's no good using this one. Um, you'll have to go through that process and type in that uh, code. I will just copy and paste it into the field like so. Okay, now you've got a choice here. Um, I'm assuming that you've not done this before. So you're going to create a new work rooms team. As the note says, if you want to join an existing team, then you'll need to be invited to it. So you're going to create one of your own. Obvious stuff. Give your, give your team a name. I've called it Evil Sheep, which is the name of a production company that I partner with. And then put in your full name. If it's a business thing, you're probably going to want to use your proper name. Think of a password type in your password. You can see that I had to think a little bit for a strong password. I got one in the end. Type in your strong password. Yeah, if you want to tick that box because you want to receive junk emails, then be my guest. I don't. Again, you need to decide what you want to do about these terms and conditions. You'll need to click onto them if you want to read them in more detail. I'm just going to click through. OK, now the thing is setting things up for you. I'm just going to pause there for a moment. You'll notice that a couple of things have appeared. First of all, you've got a workroom. So the workroom is Evil Sheep. So I'm just going to use my mouse to highlight that. So this is Evil Sheep's test workroom. And that's being created automatically for you. So uh, you'll use that in a moment or when you come to create your meeting and you've also got just above that a calendar which is where you can create a meeting and then you can invite people to it so like any meeting you need a time a place um, and that means you can then start to invite people you'll know when it's done because you get some ticker tape yay all right so you've now done one part of your process you've signed up and it's automatically generated a room for you and you've created your team. Now what you're going to need to do is pair this meeting with your Oculus Quest. So this bit's a bit fiddly because you've got to take it on and take it off again. So one of the things before I carry on with this, just a little tip, is on your Oculus Quest settings, um, make sure that you've changed, or I would recommend that you change the setting from the default, which is basically it switches itself off after 15 seconds. That's how mine came out of the box. So as soon as I put it down onto the settee or the desk, it switches off essentially. Well, that means it's a bit of a problem when you go to put it on again because it's forgotten, or often it's forgotten the guardian area. So you find yourself having to do all that again, which is a bit of a faff. So I tend to just increase that. And I've actually got mine increased to five minutes. Now, obviously, that has implications for battery life, but you'll just have to make your own decision about that. But if it's too short, especially in this setting up phase, you're constantly creating your guardian. OK, so let's pair 
um, the headset. So you now to you now need to put the headset on. So we're now inside the headset, and as you can see, I've just pointed my pointer at uh, workrooms, Horizon workrooms, and open that. If you haven't got that installed already on Oculus Quest, then my advice would be to do that first. So before you start this process, just go onto the apps and just download it. It's free and it's not particularly big, so it means you can access this service. Okay, so we're now inside the headset. Um, now, if you've done the first bit right, it's basically looking for a headset to pair with. So it asks you to pair your headset and it gives you a code. So again, this is a point where you're going to have to take your headset off now, remembering that code. So it can be a bit fiddly. You'll have to just sort of lift it up a little bit, I think, jot it down or type it into notes or something. Anyway, so you need to then type that into the computer that you've got in front of you. Click Submit. Again, more accepting terms and conditions. And that's um, not far off real time. It does happen fairly quickly um, as long as there's no problems. If it's not pairing, it could be down to a number of things, but it's normally around Wi-Fi. So make sure your Wi-Fi setting is set to the 5G mode, not the 2.4G mode. Make sure that you're close enough to the router for everything to be able to talk and make sure, obviously, that the computer you're using is on the same Wi-Fi network as your headset. Otherwise, it's just simply not going to pair. All right, so remember I said there was four things to do. Essentially, you've done three of those things now. So you've um, created your own account and you've created a team. Um, you've paired your oculus quest with the computer because you're going to have to use a computer with it uh, now you need to download oculus remote desktop basically this piece of software has been designed for you to use with a computer normally a laptop on a desk you're going to need to set up a desk and i'm going to do that in the next session but right now you're going to need to download oculus remote desktop now, I have a Mac um, as well as a PC, and I do this on my Mac, so um, I'm downloading it in Mac. So the rest of this is what it looks like if you've got a Mac of any type. So as you can see, it's in the download section. Click on open, and I'm going through the installation process. Clearly, it's a bit different in Windows, but essentially it's the same. Um, I need to give my permission to, to do that. So I'm doing that now. It's going through the installation process. It's quite fast, as you can see. Uh, I haven't shortened it very much in this video. It's really pretty quick, as long as you've got a decent computer. And you're now pretty much ready. So you're now going to have to put your headset back on again, and it should pair again. If it doesn't, then you might have to go through the pairing process again. Um, but fingers crossed, it tends to work pretty much every time for me when I do it. Okay, so that's it. You're now actually ready to start doing a meeting. And in my next video, I'll show you how to actually host a meeting and invite people to it and what sort of things you can do within that environment. And importantly, not just what you can do, but how you can do it. <laughs>